usually our first pass is going to be done with the audio mixer setting general clip gains. To see what this is like, we're going to start here by just taking a quick look at the timeline and getting it set up right. We probably, on the timeline itself, want to see the clip gains, and I've turned on one. Earlier we pointed out if you hold down the option key and you say choose something like clip gain, it turns it on for all the tracks. And you can see the little VU indicators of whether or not clips have been gained up or gained down. Since my playhead's in the middle of the first clip, when I come up to the audio mixer, you'll notice that only two strips are active, strips for tracks three and four, and we're changing the clip's volume level for the entire clip. This is a background item. We're going to just go ahead here. We can use J, K, and L in the pl to play and see what the general levels are like. Now that's averaging for me somewhere around minus about 23, 22, 21. It's about 10 decibels too loud. So let's explore a couple ways we can pull this down. We can just grab the knob and pull it down to minus 10. We can click on one of the numbers here, like minus 11. We probably want both sides of this. It's a pair of mono tracks. We'd like them to work together. In the top right, sorry, the top left of these two tracks is the concept of grouping. I'm going to group the two. So now whenever I change one, the other will change as well. I can also just click in one of these and type in the volume level of minus 10 and press the enter key. And now that I've done that, they're both about 10 decibels lower. And I'll use JKNL to listen to that again. It's still a little higher than I want. I'm just going to pull it down about three more decibels or so. So it's definitely going to be a background volume level. Similar to adjusting the clip volume, we can adjust the pan. We can just click and drag, and we pull them to the right or to the left. They're moving together because they're grouped. Since these are a pair of mono clips, though, we probably want them pan center. Anytime you want, you can hold down the option key and click on a pan slider, and it will return it to zero or to mid. And you can do the same with any of your strips. Again, these are gangs, so when I option click and reset one, it resets the other.